All right, Nick, what match are we on now? We are on WrestleMania XIX or <laughs> WrestleMania 19, which is uh, the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. I, I should I should I should mention, by the way, some of you watching may be noticing that my voice sounds somewhat different. Almost as if we screwed up the recording of this the first time and had to re-record it later after I changed my microphone. Just ignore that. Yeah. It's not true. It's not the case. It's good old... you're, kind, you're kind of paranoid for even suggesting it, frankly. Yeah. It's a weird detection you have there, so I'm just going to press this button here. Okay. Yeah, oh, shoot, yeah. Where's the remote? Hey, did, so did Michaels just sweet chin music that guy intentionally? He did, actually. Wow, a career first. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really have a great track record with that move. No, sir. Just ask Diesel. <laughs> Now, did he adopt Sweet Chin Music when he was still in the Rockers, or was that only when he broke out? I'm not sure. I don't really, I don't really remember much of, of his Rockers era career. Because I'm trying to think, like, if he ever hit his partner, whose name is now escaping me. Marty Jannetty. Marty Jannetty. Yeah, I can't recall. That's a good question. I want to say that he did, but that's just because I know Shawn Michaels. Have you ever seen his Twitter, Shawn Michaels? Oh, I have not. Oh my god, it is so clear how technologically inept he is. Really? Like, he's trying to stay young and hip and relevant, but he's just like, oh my god, I'm such a country person, not <laughs> not into Twitter. <laughs> Please stop. <sighs> All right. So, so the... Uh, the feud lead up here is pretty much uh, Chris Jericho idolizing Shawn Michaels. Okay. And then. Uh, Got kicked in the face for no yeah. reason. Well, no. he Jericho sabotaged uh, Shawn Michaels at the Royal Rumble. Okay. And prevented him from winning. And then Michaels went after him. And then the uh, it just kept going from there. They'd attack each other. Lots of sweet chin musicking. The right person for once. I like the idea of sweet chin music being a verb. <laughs> hey, honest to God, anytime I see somebody get kicked in the face, it's like it's never kicked in the face in my head. It's always sweet chin music, and I feel bad because I know it's just a super kick, but it's just the first thing that comes to mind. That is a snappy animation, let me tell you. I don't know if that was a glitch or something. So that's Jericho, then. Yeah. That that outfit kind of... Like, the upper half of his outfit kind of makes him look like a genie. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like, it's like you know, sort of colorful, and it's like open, so his chest is exposed. Like, I bet he should be, like, crossing his, ar his arms over his chest and saying, You have two wishes remaining. <laughs> well, I don't pony... know what accent that was. I don't know. The ponytail and the braiding of his, uh, I, I don't know, beard patch? Soul beard patch? I don't know what that is. But yeah, that doesn't help. It makes him look more like a genie, if anything. <laughs> yeah. Getting pumped. Has there, ever been actually... a Has there ever been a wrestler with, like, a genie gimmick? I don't know. Seems like it must have happened somewhere at some point. Maybe TNA. <laughs> Who knows? That, that's, that doesn't sound that bad, actually. A genie gimmick. I'd watch that. I'd watch a lot of things, though. <laughs> Clearly. <clears throat> so I was, I was actually looking through some old uh, HBK tapes, and uh, his big elaborate... This outfit is less elaborate than his real-life version, which had just, like, a billion different chains hanging off of it. Really? And there's been multiple times when he's done this kneel thing, mm -hmm. and the chains get caught in the grate. And he's trying <laughs> to stand up, and he can't. So they're actually performing their function as chains. Yeah. 
Well, uh, yeah, they, there's just a couple clips of him not being able to stand up after kneeling on the ramp. <laughs> and, <Oops. laughs> like, the camera having to cut away, like, oh, no, no. Just look, look at the person oh, in the his, ring. His pit crew extricates him. Yeah. Now I'm imagining, like, Shawn Michaels is Spawn. <laughs> he had chains, didn't he? Yes, he had Spawn. He would, like, come out of that big cloak. I, I, I don't know, I only read a couple issues of Spawn. Oh, yeah. I've, I've read a few issues and seen the movie. Not recommended, by the way. I've never seen the movie. Don't. Really don't. Uh, Alright. So, uh, for this match, we will... Shawn plan- Michaels! He looks like a, like a really flamboyant character from The Road Warrior or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, like, he's one of Lord Humongous's lieutenants. <laughs> uh, so, we'll be playing uh, the Heartbreak Kid. And I have to say that I actually really miss the days when Jericho would wear pants like this. Oh, mm-hmm. God, I'm getting... Well, well no, just pa- pants in general. <laughs> what is he? Be- what is he? He wears kilts now, or what? No, he wears the trunks and okay. uh, the boots. Oh, God. Uh, but he just looks really, like, really bad in them. He's not tan like he used to be, and so he's just kind of pasty. Like, not that I blame him for being pasty, it's just it doesn't look great. And uh, uh, the guys at OSW Review agree with me. They miss Jericho and Pants. He, he, he needs to be spending more time out, like, you know, out in the Middle Eastern deserts with his fellow genies. Oh, yeah. Get, get some color. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. And so, uh, yeah, my historical objectives here are to uh, get Chris Jericho to critical damage. Oh, the tombstone? Wait, no. That, no. No, I'm thinking I... It looked like it was going to be this. Yeah. That'd be awesome to see Shawn Michaels just go around and start, like, choke-slamming people. <laughs> it would just look so bizarrely out of character. I just, I love the image. I want well, to... like, I know that The Undertaker is a big dude. He's like 6'10", I think, yeah. Yeah, he's almost 7 foot. Uh, I, but I want to say, like, I don't know that Shawn Michaels is tall enough to actually <laughs> do that. He's right, he's on the short side for a pro wrestler, isn't he? Yeah. I know he's shorter than Triple H, and Triple H is only like six six only, I say. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. That, that it's kinda of funny the, the frame of reference for, you know, the you know, I, I mean I'm five eleven, so it's kinda of funny to talk about someone who's six and a half feet tall is only six and a half feet tall. Yeah, I'm five eleven too, actually. Nice. Uh, Damn, I was I, I was hoping I'd be taller than you. I I, I wanted. <laughs> I I need to maintain dominance. Plus, I, plus I'm. I, I want there to be at least one other male participant in the channel that I'm taller than, and so far there isn't. Well, we're the same height, and if you if you listen to my girlfriend, she's she'll swear I'm five ten and a half. So who knows? Maybe I am. All right, close line. There we go. I'm going to put him in the uh, sharpshooter here. Just really want to damage him at this point. Yeah. You know, I really like that Chris Jericho's theme music hasn't changed. Like, I do like him. Uh, and I know that he's wanted his theme music to change for forever. But I really like the classic... Uh, song he has. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, it's not nice. There we go. Ooh, oh, you're, you're Damage. Yep. Irish whip? I just Irish whip him, yep. Nope. Is this another one of those objectives that ends up screwing you over? Yeah. <laughs> Nice hurricane rana. Uh. I should probably mention to folks at home, I'm seeing this on a slight delay, so it's yep. not... I don't I don't have some sort of visual processing disorder where I d- recognize things ten seconds after I see them. It's just the internet connection. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like I, like, I know I complain about it, but, uh... Oh, damn it. Ugh. Oh! 
Oof. Twofer. Nope, three. I think it's Thr three. Yeah, there it is. Thrice. Do you remember what that move is called? Because I don't. No. The... I don't, I don't know. know. I know that, uh... uh come on, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh. I'll hit him nope. with the sweet chin music now. God willing, he'll stay down when I hit him. This is just the third time I've done this match, and, uh... The twi the second the second time I've uh, recorded it. Oh fuck you! No oh, no. The second time I've recorded it recently, and yeah, he has this just terrible um, habit of kicking out. Oh come on! You know what I want to <laughs> do? Stop. God. The game is just kind of lost. With it's not quite understanding me. Oh god, here we go. Walls of Jericho. Oh no. No, uh, he's he's the guy with the uh, the metal band, right? Yeah, Fozzy. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I just think, I I just it just occurs to me because the German power metal band Halloween actually had an album called Walls of Jericho. Yeah, that's where the uh, name comes from. Okay, I was, I was, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. He talks about it in his book. Uh, it. Did we possibly talk about that in another video that we I, I don't know we, that we that we that we haven't actually recorded yet because we are recording these in proper chronological order? I maybe. See, the thing is, like, I want to tell you that uh, they briefly considered calling his uh, finisher the salad shooter. In the, the salad like, I, shooter? Yes. Why? Because it's like a modified sharpshooter, and they that's, didn't. That, really... that, that's not an explanation. And, like, there was a product at the time, in the 90s, during his, uh... Yeah, I know that there was a... I know the salad shooter was an actual consumer good. That makes it more dumb. Not yeah. less. <laughs> See, but I know that I've... T I'm pretty sure I've told you that before, is the thing. And I win. Yeah. You mean you, you will tell me that in the future, Nick? Yes. Well, all, you know, all these you know, alternate timelines we've accidentally been creating... In the course of this Let's Play, it's only natural that things would get screwed up. Yeah. Oh, are they actually gonna... Oh, that wasn't un 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 unexpected. Oh, wait, no, that... Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. stand corrected. That, that, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jericho's been a pretty good heel during his, uh, his career. Um... His famous recent return, I think, like, his, he stopped in 07, and he, no, maybe earlier than 07, uh, but he returned, like, I want to say 2012, 2013, and uh, he did this hilarious thing where all he would do is showboat and say nothing, and that was how he debuted as a heel. <laughs> what, he wouldn't speak? Yeah, he came out. Did like celebrated, pumped up the crowd, and just walked around and wasted everybody's time. <laughs> and then he left the arena. And then there was this one hilarious match with CM Punk and Daniel Bryan versus three other people where he got tagged in, got into the ring, like celebrated, pointed to the crowd. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Tagged Di Daniel Bryan in and then left the ring and just walked out. <laughs> it was awesome. This... I might also tell you this in the future. <laughs> and All right, Nick, Nick. Just remember, if you run into your time into your time traveling future self, do not come into physical contact with him. <laughs>